So let's talk about money, okay? Um, I know that personally I wasn't sure, even towards the end of school, how much I was going to get paid at a job. Um, and I'm talking about just standard, um, you know, not even just primary care, but I, I was interviewed for several positions, um, you know, sp specialty, hospital, um, you know, primary care, all of the above. Um, and the salary range was very, very different. And uh, to be honest with you, don't sell yourself short and start looking for a job um, while you're still in school, okay? Because if you present yourself um, in the correct package, then I promise you somebody will be willing to wait for you um, as a new grad. And that's, you know, what happened to me on several, several occasions. So don't worry that you're in school and it's going to, if it's May and you can't start till October, um, if you're the right fit, someone will wait for you. Um, so what you should make, and uh, I don't care where you are in the country, uh, south, you know, east coast, west, whatever, um, you should not make less than $80,000 a year. And I still think that's a little on the low side, but um, it should be, you know, the 82, 83 mark at your lowest. Um, just uh, don't expect to, you know, bust out the door making like $150,000 a year because that's not going to happen, okay? Um, the Obviously, you can Google salary um, and listen to me. Every company that is offering you a job is trying to make money off of you, okay? Um, and if someone is offering you an obscene amount of money, because this happened to me, you need to stop and think, why? Why in the world would this place be trying to pay so much more money than anywhere else? Um, it's because nobody wants to work there and they're desperate and you're going to be extremely unhappy. If you're okay with being unhappy for however long you can stand it because you make $5 or $10 more an hour, whatever it is, by all means, go for it. But just think about that because, I mean, it's a big deal. Also, you want to ask your friends that you're in school with, you know, what are they being offered if you have that kind of relationship? Because you should. You should all, I mean, if we devalue ourselves and everyone who's a new grad starts taking a job that's, you know, it pays you $80,000 a year, then companies are going to think that, you know, that's what our value is. But if we hold out to take jobs that are higher paying and they're not, the kind of jobs that nobody wants, then we increase our value and people start saying, okay, this is what they're, go they're gonna accept as their pay. Um, now, there are several jobs that you can take that will pay you $150,000 a year that are jobs that are like in very rural areas out in like Alaska or in like Oregon or I don't know I'm in I'm on the east coast right now so those places seem like very far away to me they may not be far away to you um but I went on a job interview out in Oregon and it was just everything that you could ever ask for ever in a job um it was a beautiful facility you know the country was beautiful uh, the pay was like $120,000 a year out the door with like six weeks vacation and like CEU money that was insane. It was like, I don't know, $5,000, but it was something I knew I could never, ever get here. Um, that was on one of those, like, um, you know, my husband's going to leave me. What am I going to do? I need to go get a really good job, uh, out somewhere on the whole other side of the country <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, what's the only reason I went on that interview, but, um, it was just stupid. Uh, anyway, if you live close to Oregon, uh, heck go for it. Uh, take, you know, a job like that because there are some areas, yes, that pay more than, um, than East Coast, South, or whatever, but you have to think of the shortage that they have. So if you're willing to move, um, then yes, you can make more money. Uh, but things to look for when you are accepting a job, okay? Um, but also you have to be willing to give things up too. And uh, so, you know, things that you look for are 
obviously the salary, yes. That is important. It should not be the most important thing. You need to look for somewhere where um, you think that you're going to have longevity at and support for a new grad, um, which, I mean, I, I think that that should be on the top as, like, number one important. You need to have good mentors. You need to have people that don't get frustrated that you're a new grad, people that are willing to um, just help you and guide you and let you grow. Um, I think that should be number one on your list over anything uh, because that is going to help you for your next job um, if you ever need one. Uh, so very, very important. Um, also, uh, you want to look at CEUs. Are they offering time for CEU? Or how much money are they offering you for that? Um, make sure the time that they're giving you doesn't come out of your vacation time. And that vacation time is separate. You need to look and see if your vacation time is given up front or if it's earned time. Um, I ended up giving up some really great jobs that had some really great vacation packages for a job where I have to earn my vacation, which I absolutely hate. Um, but, you know, give and take. You know, the salary is good, yes. Was it the highest salary I was offered? No, it was not. But uh, I'm in an extremely supportive practice right now. And um, honestly, I don't see anything except for good and growth out of the place that I'm at right now. Along with the fact that I didn't settle on salary either. I kind of waited. I, I was offered jobs that had really high salaries. I was offered jobs that had, you know lower salaries, um, but not as supportive of a staff. So it's kind of like you just need to um, weigh all of your options and wait because you're in demand. You know, you, you, what do they say? It's a, it's a buyer's market. It really is, you know, uh, set your value to what you believe you should be paid and, you know, it compared to what others are making around you. Uh, and honestly, like I can say that for new grads, especially on the East Coast, we make between eighty-three dollars and $105,000 a year out the door. And that's family practice, that's specialty, it doesn't matter. Um, but you do need to consider all of those things when you are looking for a job. Um, you know, nights, weekends, call, anything like that, you need to consider and when you're taking that, if they're 10 hour shifts, 12 hour shifts, eight hour shifts, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I got very lucky because I wasn't desperate. I took my time. I refused to accept a job that I felt that I wasn't going to be, um, at for a long time. Uh, I didn't want to do that to myself or to anybody else. Um, you deserve to be happy after everything that you've been through, um, during school. It's extremely tough. So just put yourself first. Don't always think about the dollar sign. Think about your mental health and how you feel and the way that you're going to be treated. And, um, you know, put more value on that than on, on, on the, the number, you know. So good luck. I hope everybody finds a, a great job and make that money, but be happy.